equinox. First day of spring in the northern hemisphere. And it's almost sunset here. I'm uh, currently on the Pacific Northwest coast of the ocean. down in about 10 minutes or so. Got some overcast though, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to see any, see the sun actually line up with this street. If this street is indeed surveyed exactly at east-west, the sun should line up with the street. I was hoping for that to happen tonight, but it's a little nippy. I wanted to talk a little bit, take this opportunity to talk about the importance of the vernal equinox. It's a day of balance, so that virtue of balance is celebrated on this day, traditionally. family owned beachfront property as well so I, I know what the laws are especially in Washington State which are that <clears throat> you can own a property down to the beach line which is the the high water mark and uh, from that that high wa water mark down to the water is actually public property so the the, the beach itself is private property. I mean, public property mostly. And in case a private property owner tries to shoo you off. But, uh, not trying to cause any friction here. It's a very nice neighborhood. I'm a guest in this neighborhood, for which I am very grateful. But I wanted to talk a bit about how the vernal equinox was perceived in ancient times. They knew what it was. And they were able to find it. Find what day it was. Uh, at the same time they could find out the day of the solstices. The, sun, the summer solstice and the winter solstice. And that was by the position of the sun. By how far it goes north, how far it goes south. Equinox is like halfway between those two, so it's not hard to find if you have like a hinge or a, some kind of astronomical observatory that lets you keep track of where the sun is. Um, see, one of the main 
amazing, beautiful place I'm in. I'm really, really blessed. For, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not taking this for granted at all. I'm totally appreciating my situation. So it looks like I might be able to get down to the, well, the beach is quite a ways. I can't get down to the beach from here. As you can see, there's this cool old boat house right here. It's quite a ways down there. Three blackberries. I don't know how you get down there. I guess this is as close as I'm going to be able to get. See how nice these places are? Very upscale neighborhood. And there's a dog barking at me over there. So, uh, the uh, vernal equinox was, was known by Egyptians, it was known by the Sumerians, the Babylonians, the Abyssinians, you know, any culture that lasted for any amount of time was able to figure it out. And uh, the, uh, the importance of it in the northern hemisphere is that the weather starts to get warmer and the plants start to turn green or the, the shoots start to come up and uh, so it, it has a it has a feeling of uh, mother earth waking again and uh, being reborn and so in that sense it makes sense to be the beginning of a new calendar year and that's uh, when the Babylonians and the Sumerians and the people that follow them, they're called the Persians. They started their calendar, their solar calendar on this day. And that old solar calendar of theirs is actually the same thing as what we call our astrological calendar. The uh, astrological zodiac signs, there's 12 of those. Each of them is approximately 30 days long, and they begin on the vernal equinox, which is today, with the sign of Aries, in the first degree of Aries. And so the Persian calendar begins today. We celebrate it with a festival called Nowruz. Uh, and so I celebrate the Persian calendar New Year every year. And uh, it's not something that Americans seem to appreciate very much. And one of the reasons for that is that the Persian calendar is the Iranian calendar today. Uh, there are, there are uh, things about those old cultures that, that our culture doesn't agree with. Um, very beautiful, soulful things that they know how to appreciate that we don't. There's a lot to be said for these other cultures and their ways. And, um, you know, another thing too is uh, th th there's a distinct dis difference between the, the lunar calendars and the solar calendars, but sophisticated cultures knew that the two were different and they kept track of both. to which I am very fond of which I am very fond uh, mostly had a lunar calendar of 13 months 28 days each and um, each month began on the new moon the, uh, and their year since it's a, a lunar calendar, they have
have to, you know, what's called intercalate the, uh, the solar observations with the lunar observations. So if you're going to have a lunar calendar that begins on the vernal equinox, you have to take the new moon that's closest to the solar phenomenon, which is the vernal equinox. And that's the first day in the, the beginning of the first month, the first lunar month. So uh, those are my thoughts today on the vernal equinox. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. Sunset.